Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool that is currently being used by over 20,000 aspirants. Now let's see if you can answer this actual NEET question. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch this video. Assisted Reproductive Technologies In an experimental procedure called in vitro fertilization, that is, doctors joined women's egg and the men's sperm in a laboratory. This is called in vitro fertilization. So for the first time, fertilization happened outside the woman's body. Then nine months after, first test tube baby was born. Today, assisted reproductive technology, that is ART, it refers not only to IVF, that is in vitro fertilization, but also to several variations tailored to patients unique conditions. These procedures are usually paired with more than conventional therapies such as fertility drugs to increase the success rate. And almost one out of every three cycles of ART results in the birth of a baby. But the problem with ART is these are invasive as well as expensive procedures. Though no long term health effects have been linked to the children born using ART, but recommended reserving ART as a last resort for having a baby. Let us have a look at the main techniques used in assisted reproductive technologies. The first one is in vitro fertilization. This is one of the most commonly used procedure. Here the eggs are combined with the partner sperms in a dish or in a test tube. That is why it is called in vitro inside the test tube fertilization occurs. Once fertilization has occurred, the resulting embryos develop for 3 to 5 days. That is, you can observe here, first one is zygote stage. It is uh, day 1 and 2 cell stage in uh, day 2. 4 cell stage in uh, it is also formed in the second day of development. On third day, it reaches the 8 cell stage and fourth day, it becomes morula and on the fifth day, it becomes blastocyst. So, this blastocyst stage implanted in the uterus. This is called in vitro fertilization. Next one is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. In this case, one of the partner's sperms is placed inside the egg with the help of a micro needle or microscopic needle rather than many sperms positioned close to the outside of the egg as in the case of in vitro fertilization that occur in a dish in the laboratory. Once fertilization is over, the resultant embryo it is placed inside the uterus. Then further development occurs inside the uterus. Generally, this method is followed in a couple where male partner has low sperm count. Then this method is suitable. So defect is maybe with uh, the males. Next one is gift. It is also called gamete intrafallopian transfer. In this, the transfer of a ovum collected from the donor into the fallopian tube of another female who cannot produce the egg but can provide suitable environment for fertilization and for further development that is implantation in the uterus. Here generally this is the problem with the female where she failed to produce the ova. So here you can see while inserting the donor ovum it is also mixed with the sperms of the husband or the donor. Another one is zygote intrafallopian transfer. Ovum is collected from a wife or a donor and sperms are collected from either husband or a donor. Then uh, outside the human female body, fertilization occurs. This is a type of in vitro fertilization. Then the zygote or early embryo, it is transferred into the fallopian tube at about 8 cell stage or if it is more than 8 cell stage, it can be implanted in the uterus so that the further development will be completed. 
artificial insemination if the infertility of male is either due to inability of male partner to achieve an erection of penis or to inseminate the female or due to very low sperm count in the semen so the defect is with the males so in a semen is collected either from the husband or from the donor and is artificially inserted or artificially introduced into the vagina of the female or into the uterus this is also called intrauterine insemination of females later inside the female the normal fertilization then implantation take place and the blastocyst can further complete the gestation period and can she can give birth to the young one another method is donor egg or embryo in this procedure if one is unable to conceive using her own eggs an egg is donated by the donor that is from another woman mixed with the sperms of the partner then result the formation of zygote and this zygote is further developed into either eight cell stage or more than eight cell stage that is blastocyst stage then this embryo is implanted into the uterus for their development so this zygote or embryo can be even from a donor in this method donor embryo or sperm can be used surrogacy or use of a gestational carrier so in this case you can observe this small picture it is use of gestational carrier that is a woman who carry a donor embryo so that embryo can further complete its development and the characteristics of the newborn is related to the genetic mother you can call her biological mother so the embryo formed after normal coitus in the female is now transferred to the gestational mother for further development and she will implant the embryo and give birth to the young ones but the characteristics of the newborn are related to this biological father and mother and this method is called surrogacy hey there hope you understood the concept here is the solution to the question asked at the beginning found this video useful hit the like and share icons to enjoy more such videos learnpedia's je and need prep tools contain over 4000 videos and over 20000 questions they are accessible online on our website and also offline through an sd card or a pen drive to buy now visit www.learnpedia.in you can also try a free demo of our product before purchase